Hey guys, this is Torter, and in light of the recent announcement that Wakandans are likely going to get some kind of support or some kind of uh, adjustment sometime later this year, I want to go through other factions that I do believe need a rework, some of them even before Wakandan, like, I mean, we've still got Hand that have been trashed since the very start of the game, and talk about what I think that the adjustments need to be because there's a few different other factions that kind of they don't have their own kind of niche or anything like that something that they can kind of play off or anything and some of them are just honestly missing so much from their different kits so we're going to go through that we've got the wakandans obviously here i've got cerebro's message up there saying look if only there was a wakandan theme movie coming out this year that we could support so most likely, to me at least, that means very much confirmation that Wakandans are going to get something. So, as for the first one here, Guardians of the Galaxy. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy were one of the first kind of set teams back uh, when they started doing the very set teams. You had Star-Lord as one of the first legendaries coming out and buffing up these guys. Mantis obviously came later on to be able to allow them to have some healing, to be able to get rid of some debuffs and everything. But honestly, overall, the teams just dropped so much. There's a reason why most of the time they're kind of sh shifted into having like vision and stuff on their team kind of having um, different characters slotting in there instead of having this full kind of set five characters and then Gamora obviously was moved for Infinity Watch as well so what do I think they need Drax obviously needs some more defense like he's got defense up here but he just honestly even for a tank he goes down very fast he's got like this weird kind of drain niche where he was meant to kind of have uh have himself tanking but then be able to drain away um health and everything from the enemy to kind of keep himself alive but he just doesn't do it incredibly well mantis obviously helps kind of keep him alive there he's also got this on spawn taunt but when you compare him to someone like uh like red guardian or someone who has on spawn taunt he's just honestly so power crept the fact that they don't have like defense up on spawn or anything for this team like that's a major thing that drax could bring to the team is just being able to protect the rest of them Groot is interesting as well. He's obviously meant to be like this healer-ish kind of character, but then mostly about kind of removing away the negative effects, but he just doesn't do it incredibly well. His immunity only goes for one character, like one character gets immunity, which honestly doesn't help all that much. And he's got this th thing where when he dies, he's going to buff everyone up and everything, but then he's got this slow, uh, this chance to be able to revive and everything. It just doesn't really kind of work well together. So he's missing a lot of different stuff that could potentially potentially make him a lot better even if you compare his special here to some more characters that are more recent he just doesn't kind of provide enough buffs or anything to kind of keep his team alive mantis was one of the first characters to have kind of exclusive things for certain raids with this raid exclusive thing here but then immediately afterwards they ended up introducing minerva who just just overshadowed her by so much her healing is decent but not nearly enough she's one of the only characters that can redistribute health but she only does it for what herself and one other ally so it just doesn't end up kind of keeping them alive very well um she's also got the weird kind of thing where she gains a little bit of health and on spawn she heals herself up but it just doesn't provide enough to kind of keep her alive so turning mantis into like this actual proper healer would be insanely great to kind of allow the team not to kind of do like raids or anything like nowadays in raids you need to have all the characters having the same kind of trait and everything but these guys don't so it's more along the lines of bringing her being able to heal up for like war or some other kind of game modes to kind of keep herself alive and keep the team alive. Rocket is a great character that suffers from power creep because most of his power was within his stats and then he just doesn't provide enough here he doesn't have piercing damage or anything so he ends up just not doing enough damage uh, and then he's got kind of like the random offense up for allies but the fact that one it's a 40 percent chance to be able to get it and everything just ends up not being great so i think that they just need to kind of have some niche changes um to be able to allow them to go somewhere and be able to counter certain things like if you want to have their thing be burst damage then buffing up rocket and allowing them to have some more defense even star lord provides them with a lot of kind of burst damage with his ultimate uh would be amazing all right, next up is AIM. The AIM rework, I think, was one of my favorite reworks that they've done because it shifted this team that existed into having their own kind of thing where the thing was 
taking debuffs, having debuffs come onto them, and then kind of not just kind of flipping them into positive effects, but also chucking them back at the enemy. So a Assaulter there being able to kind of provide a uh, speed bar is great, but I think that he could potentially apply it to more than just himself and adjacent allies to be able to allow the team to just kind of keep pumping through, I think would be amazing. His special also is like barely ever kind of used because his basic is just so much better being able to apply bleeds out and everything. His special is basically just there to give him speed up to allow him to kind of pump out more turns constantly. Aim Infector was a character that just suffered from the rework. He just didn't get much. His whole thing was about, hey, if I've got debuffs, then I'm going to switch them into uh, buffs, but he doesn't actually remove them from himself. He just kind of gets the opposite buff. So it, technically, if you have offense down and then you gain offense up, you're at a net zero. So it doesn't really help him to be able to do that. And then he's special here. He's got the fill speed bar, which is amazing, but then gains counter and stuff and he heals himself for just a little bit it didn't do enough and getting rid of the positive effects on himself as well just kind of doesn't do enough to especially the fact that this is after um after kind of the the damage goes through and everything he just he didn't have enough to kind of keep himself alive or allow him to deal enough damage monstrosity was great but just doesn't kind of have the kit to be able to kind of stay alive or his uh actual stats as well just aren't amazing researcher was the one who got an amazing amazing buff so i don't think that there's much change that needs to kind of happen to her to be able to keep her alive or anything like that may uh, like keep her on the team maybe she heals some more or something security again was another great buff and then uh graviton like the issue with graviton here was his basic does a bonus positive damage but then this is all reduced by armor so it ends up doing nothing and nothing and same with here this doesn't end up doing all that much because this ends up getting reduced by armor this one a lot worse because armor has a lot more of effect on a whole lot of little attacks while this is just adds into one big attack and everything but yeah, he's also a character that's kind of working well in war and he's meant to be a war specific character, but the kits and stuff just don't allow them to be able to compete in this current meta. Scientist Supreme, just giving her more health would be massive. Like, she doesn't gain health from, um, gain health from Graviton or anything. It's like they wanted to kind of switch them into two different teams, but then didn't end up doing it. So hopefully we kind of end up getting some more characters kind of buff up those guys. Next up is Hand. I'm going to ignore Electra here because she's obviously been switched off the team, but Archer, meant to be po removing positive effects, has a great focus to do it, but only removed one. P clear kind of power creep there. You've got Hand Assassin here, who I don't think she ever really had like this, her own thing. Like her thing was meant to be like this speedy attacker, I think, that applies heal block, but she only applies it to one target, which makes it essentially useless because the whole enemy team ends up healing nowadays. And it just didn't end up kind of being to the point that she was actually a useful character um hand blade master about the bonus attacks and stuff but nowadays a 40 percent chance to bonus attack is nothing sentry sentry is a character that's probably the most useful of the current hand characters besides electra however the fact that he only applies stealth for two turns he applies evade and deflect to himself uh, it just doesn't end up being like enough to kind of keep them alive to allow them do anything uh sent sorceress here her kit is incredibly weird she gets like stealth for one turn but because it's only for one turn it ends up kind of dropping off so once you have it up to here it's a lot better but then it's like 25 percent chance this is like it this is basically no passive essentially it's this it's a useless passive because it just never comes into effect the defense up is only for one turn she's got drain but it's only a tiny amount of drain uh and it's of the base damage which is like really weird the way it's phrased there and she just doesn't do enough support to kind of keep them alive at all and then finally the worst defender nobu whose ultimate is essentially just fuck like it's so dumb. This is probably the worst ability in the game, in my opinion. Gain counter and then apply one or two counter to all allies. So it's just, it's awful. <laughs> it's just, it's absolutely trash. Now he's special here. He only summons two to three hand ninjas. Luckily he can summon like the great ones like hand archer, but honestly, they just don't do enough to kind of do much. He's basic as well. 70% chance to gain stealth, 40% chance to gain an assist from a hand ally. Like if I I wanted to kind of make a uh, make these guys do their own thing like the make um 
hand have their own abilities they should be like this super reviving evading team that just constantly chucks out hand ninja after hand ninja after hand ninja so you just constantly are fighting these massive waves of hand ninjas that would be what i would aim for towards with these guys um, something like making it so that he has a higher chance to revive hand allies make it so that he buffs them better make it so that he summons like more and better um, allies would just be amazing Next up, Power Armor. When they introduced Air Ironheart, they kind of gave them a bit more of their own kind of thing. They're like this burst heavy team, but they just honestly mostly suffer from stats wise, but also just their passives aren't kind of up to modern day passives. Like this one here, gain block chance, gain block chance, gain health and gain block amount. It just doesn't do all that much. Um, they just need a lot of kind of minor tweaks to kind of bring them up to modern day stuff. Like even here, this should be able to kind of give him more um like more speed bar or something who knows uh there's some there's a lot of stuff that they could potentially do here to make them better to kind of be able to fill that kind of um like a combo team where you've got Ironheart coming you've got then um you've got the offense up from rescue then you've got like the big aoes and everything just something allowing them to kind of do that stuff better and iron man honestly should be switched off of this team put him onto a different team and kind of replace him with like almost anyone else like iron man sakar would be cool giving them a, t a tank would be amazing to kind of allow them to be able to stay alive for a bit longer. Ironheart is probably the best member on the team, but also suffers from long cooldowns, which don't help when you're in war. And if you don't manage to get that massive burst off, then you just suck. Um, res Rescue as well just doesn't do enough healing and do doesn't do enough barrier to kind of keep them alive. So we're a little bit squished there. The Young Avengers, they're down to like three members now. I potentially think that Miles will come back and they'll end up changing them into like a, a champions team and Miles will get replaced by Spidey 2099 or Web Warriors or something along those lines. But these guys here, America Chavez, like uh, I, I hope I pronounced that right this time. Um, she kind of has this weird thing where she's meant to be doing like she does defense down and she does more damage for brawlers but she just does pure damage and it's pure single target like if she had this like if this here chained or something uh the team would instantly become a lot better because there's just so much single target damage in here um the max health here that's all she does as well like there's some cool stuff that they could potentially do with her like allowing her to steal away positive effects or something like she's using her portals to get in behind and steal their advantage or some kind of cool stuff that they could explain some way law wise there but it just ends up being like this kit where she's just a pure damage character and pure damage characters characters that are based around their stats end up falling off way quicker than characters that are based around their kits so because she's so much based around her stats she just never is going to be able to be a character that can last very long in the meta miss marvel miss marvel is very very interesting character she's got that whole she's the first character that had like that assist now now that you've got like the striker skirmish combo they should really lean into that with this team really go heavy into like the kind of striker skirmisher combo where you've got one of them attacks and then you've got she comes and assists and then all of a sudden they're just doing this massive attack or something along those lines lots of really cool stuff there i'd love if she had an ability here that kind of calls upon all of the young avengers because i think that's very thematic having young avengers like avengers all working together and attacking together similar to how um the astonishing x-men with jubilee special she calls upon all of them gives them all offense up which would be another thing that would be massive on this team offense up uh and squirrel girl amazing character don't tell Roman X I said otherwise, but she just needs something more. She needs to be able to buff her team, protect her team more. She's got the offense down on her um, ultimate here, which is amazing, but she doesn't give them all defense up or anything along those lines besides this kind of weird thing where when they drop below health, then she'll give them defense up. They need to be able to get it more consistently. Maybe she could give them speed bar as well so they can kind of keep going. With the game being such a speed-based team, you need ca teams to be working faster to be able to compete. Not necessarily in arms race thing where they need to make them faster than Eternals and then Eternals come and then they become faster and stuff like that. But just being able to allow them to kind of compete together in speed would be great. 
Next up is I put As Guardians. I know that people might not agree with this one, but As Guardians really fell off really quickly, especially once Symbiotes came out and once the um, once the Axe Men came out, they're essentially dead by then. Um, they needed so much. Like Heimdall's here to be able to protect them from blind. That's literally his whole job. Really, is to protect them from blind and apply heal blocks to the enemy. He doesn't do enough damage to be a brawler. He doesn't do enough control to be a controller. He doesn't protect them enough to be a protector. He just honestly is suffering from just his whole thing being this whole now you can't be blind thing. The fact that he gives focus and everything would be great to kind of work into his kit somehow, being able to kind of give him more debuffs to the enemy to kind of go alongside Loki and Hela as well. Hela is probably the only character here that's consistently stayed in the meta, but even then she's starting to drop off now that other characters are being able to spread debuffs and everything, being able to kind of keep them alive. And the fact that she's got Greg just makes her a pure liability on, um, on war defense because as soon as you add her into war defense instantly boom now i'm going to bring my axe men now i'm going to bring my symbiotes like anyone that goes off of people dying on the enemy team it's just going to be great for them to kind of live it's why x-force just ripped through them as well so honestly at they like need something to kind of be here i would wish that they'd move them away from a war defense team um whether that kind of enables this to become just on war or something would be great um would be amazing actually and just being able to allow them to have like more of a protector that isn't sif because or allow sif to just do more she just she's her kit doesn't do much like she's got this cool rebound attack here but it just doesn't do enough her special here she attacks and then gains taunt for one turn and three turns a counter. It's just, her kit just is really, really basic. Um, I'm not saying that every character should have like a novel link kit or anything like that. But if you have a look at even like the Web Warriors or anything like that, their kits aren't novel links, but they still just do so much more to be able to compete in the current meta. Loki um, is honestly one of the characters that I do really like. I, I think that Loki's kit doesn't need too much changing. He needs obviously stat buffs and everything like that. But I wish that they'd kind of move Loki off of this team. Honestly, move him onto like a variant team, move him into a team with Sylvie or something, and then kind of replace him with someone like Odin or uh, Beta Ray Bill or something along those lines. Thor as well definitely could kind of move off of this team and kind of maybe switch them into two different kind of teams like Asgardian 1, Asgardian 2 or not obviously that name but something along those lines. Next up is Kree. Kree is probably the one that I think is the most need of rework. Um besides hand hand probably is top and then kree is shortly after and the reason kree is just so bad is that they have this weird kind of here's the kree minions that do certain things which are great and they kind of work a bit together and everything but then here's the uh kree non-minions and they kind of have a little bit of synergy here but they just don't really feel like they have much to kind of tie them all together you've got minerva who was great amazing character still decent character but she's dropped off because she's just so squishy her cooldowns are so long and stuff as well she's got a decent kit but just the cooldown length is just so annoying like if you want to use her ultimate you have to wait so long to be able to do it and everything um I just think that honestly they need something to kind of tie them all together. I have excluded um, File of L from this because obviously she's got a team. But Captain Marvel definitely could kind of bring together a Kree team or something. Just bring in together like bring them into two different teams. Have like a Star Force team or something like that and then have the Kree minions together. And the Kree minions do need something. I don't know what they could kind of bring together with them. Maybe a character like a Graviton level character to kind of work alongside Rogue so you've got like Ronan, Graviton side character, and then the three other Kree minions, and then take the others into a different team or something, and then put Captain Marvel not on a Kree team. Um, Ronan, he just like he's got the dispel on his special here, but it just clears two negative effects. They don't have any kind of consistent um, defense or anything. They've got like you've got. Kree uh, Royal Guard here who gives defense up for one turn but again long cooldown as well they were meant to be like this energy based team where they're all kind of generating energy but they just don't do it consistently enough that it's going to matter like here whenever she crits she's meant to be generating energy 
but it just doesn't do enough to kind of keep it rolling or anything. Like, uh, I do really like their niche. They had a really cool, interesting niche, which was like this energy generating team that are meant to be able to keep using their cooldowns and stuff to kind of keep going, but they just don't have one, their cooldowns aren't strong enough for that to matter. Like, it doesn't matter how much energy you get if your cooldowns are like, here, have two regens. <laughs> It doesn't it doesn't help enough like here have defense up here have this single target ability it, they also just suffer from that kind of thing where they've got all single target abilities so um the actual kind of split between like ultimus and um ultimus korath kind of working together and then you've got kind of uh crease cyborg there as well to kind of give them offense up i think is decent but they're just missing something to kind of be able to tie that team together and more stuff tying them together with their like passives and stuff like they just need something more to kind of bring them together which i do really like um I do really like kind of their niche, but they just need more to be able to kind of compete in today's meta at least. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you guys. Which of these factions would you like to see reworked? And do you think I missed a faction? I obviously deliberately did not include Wakanda because they're set kind of semi-confirmed, but um, maybe let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see and what characters you like to see on these teams. Like if they added a new character here into the Guardians, would you like it to be Nova or something along those lines? For Hand, would you like to see madam gao or um like typhoid mary or something which kree characters would you like to see let me know in the comments what you guys think that's it for today have a good day and goodbye